I'm running way faster than I thought it would. So, I have no idea how long I can keep this up. My heart rate is really high. all packed up now ready for my trip up north to sacramento i'm doing the napa valley half marathon so i'll be going uh to sacramento to stay with my mom until saturday and then i'll be heading over to napa to meet my sister and then we're going to go pick up my uh, race bib go to the expo maybe do some wine tasting we'll see uh so the drive is roughly six hours from here in los angeles to sacramento uh we shouldn't hit any traffic though because we're leaving at like 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, so excited to get up north and do this race. It really is a beautiful state. There's all this, uh, all these beautiful fields out here in the rural area, you know, in central, There's all types of stuff. National, uh, national forest. Um, there's just so much, so much beauty here in California. I'm very fortunate uh, to live here. All right, I'm going for a nice six mile easy run before the race uh, to get warmed up. Um, just a nice slow, probably 10 minutes per mile, uh, just around my mom's neighborhood here in Sacramento. Uh, I used to run this route quite a bit a couple years ago. There was like a 10 mile route around here um, that I would run frequently. And I've even done a few 15 mile runs over here when I when my volume really got high for the marathon but uh, yeah we'll see That's how this goes You know, one thing I've noticed about Sacramento versus Los Angeles, you know, in general is that people, they say hi to you when you walk by them. You know, I say hi back. Down in Santa Monica, I walk past strangers all the time down the street. We don't say a word. But up here, you know, it's a little different. People are a little more personable. And uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with LA. I mean, people are the way they are. It's just culture. But, uh, yeah, that's just one thing that I've noticed around here versus LA. All right, we're just about the halfway point. Three miles down, turning around on the way home. All right, so thoughts on the run. Ran a little bit faster than I wanted to. Uh, probably average like nine minutes, 15 seconds per mile uh, for six miles. Wanted to go for a uh, 10 minute per mile, but uh, I don't know, I just caught a good cadence and everything felt good. So I so just uh, ran with it, kept it going. 
Uh, average heart rate is probably low 150s, um, which is pretty good. That's like the sweet spot for me as far as uh, uh, cardiovascular uh, endurance. If I can maintain that heart rate during a race, I'll do just fine. Um, so yeah, I think that was a good easy run in preparation for the for the half marathon on Saturday. Okay, so I just printed off the Napa Valley half marathon course map um, and I'm taking a look at it and it looks pretty cool actually. Um, most of it is downhill. <laughs> There's a little bit of rolling hills in the beginning up to like mile seven or so, but after that it's just looks like it's just a straight downhill course almost. Only 94 feet of elevation throughout the all 13.1 miles. So yeah, it looks like it starts on the Con Creek Winery, Con Creek Road, and then it passes down uh, through Oak, Rutherford, Oakville, Yauntville, and going towards Napa. Um, and it ends around Vintage High School, which is actually not far from my sister's place, believe it or not. So it'll be pretty convenient. We'll just, I'll just go, you know, go to my sister's house basically, and then um, I'll take a shuttle out to the start, the starting line, um, and then go do the race. So this should be very, very uh, awesome course. From what I read, it's a very scenic course with all the wine vineyards and hills and everything. So there's gonna be a lot of great footage um, for you guys to show. And I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. All right, I'm on my way to my sister's house in Napa. Uh, we're gonna go to the expo, uh, pick up my race bib and um, Maybe uh, just check out some clothes. I realize it's gonna be really cold <laughs> tomorrow morning. It's gonna be in the 30s. Um, luckily the sun is out though, so maybe I, I won't need it, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna pick up a, uh, a pair of long sleeve, um, you know, running shirt. And uh, I also got these gloves uh, from my mom's house, uh, just in case if it's too cold. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. Okay, so yeah, we just got back from the fitness expo um, a little while ago, and uh, we got lunch, we got sandwiches and ravioli, so hopefully that's enough carbs for tomorrow. Um, I've just been drinking, uh, sipping on Gatorade all day. Uh, that's a really great tip that I got uh, from a coach a while back is, you know, the day before a race, before an endurance event, you know, it's good to just kind of sip on electrolytes uh, throughout the day. So. That way you're not going to the race uh, deficient on anything. So that, that, that was a good little tip that I got. Um, and also it's good to have a little bit of glucose to go with it to make sure your carb stores are, are completely full. Um, but yeah, so uh, excited. Probably just gonna relax uh, the rest of the day and uh, take it easy. Uh, not gonna do any running. I'll just be doing a little bit of stretching. And then uh, yeah, eat, maybe eat a little snack for dinner and, and that's it, we'll be ready uh, to race tomorrow uh, first thing in the morning. All right, so I just woke up a little bit ago. It's around 5, 10 a.m. Um, just getting ready for the race and probably just have a little bit, a little bite to eat and uh, drink some water and then we'll be heading over. There we go, we just started. <laughs> I'm so glad we are running now. It's so cold. I just 
past the one mile mark. It's still cold, still warming up. My hands are still freezing. <laughs> All right, just past two miles and the sun is finally coming out. It feels so much warmer now. All right, we just passed the first aid station a little bit ago and my watch still is not working. All right, we just passed mile five and I passed the one hour 40 minute pace group, which is, I wasn't expecting that, so. Uh, feels a little easier than I thought it would, but again, we're not even halfway, so we'll see how it feels in a couple more miles. I might slow it down after that. But here we go, nice downhill. <laughs> I love downhill. All right, just past mile six. We're making pretty good time, actually, but again, we're not even halfway there, so <laughs> I might slow down in the next two or three miles. All right, just past mile seven. Looks like we're going to the next downhill. So uh, it's gonna be pretty smooth sailing from here actually. <laughs> Mile eight down, another one in the bag. All right, just past mile nine. The speed is starting to get to me now. I might slow down a little bit. Going under seven minutes per mile, which is really fast for me. But, I mean, I think I still got a little more in me. Wow, just past the aid station around mile nine, and I'm running way faster than I thought it would. So, I have no idea how long I can keep this up. My heart rate is really high. All right, just past mile 10. We are just cruising through this half marathon going way faster than I thought. So, I'm gonna keep it up. There's only 5K left. We didn't see you. You ran too fast. Yeah, I know, I ran way faster than I thought. <laughs> like 130 something, 132. line I ran way faster than I thought it would uh, I totally just crushed my my personal record of one hour and 41 minutes it was in the 130s I don't know exactly what my time was but, but I totally crushed it today I didn't think I was gonna run that fast I don't know I just felt good uh, the first half and then after mile 10 I just decided I was gonna go for it so so uh, yeah good vibes today we got the one hour 40 minute pace group just crossing. That, that was my old time. <laughs> 